Well, hello YouTube. This is going to be another one of Captain Dave's Wolf Tales. And it is by request from a viewer that wants to hear the rest of this wolf tale. What is a wolf tale? Well, this is the Jetty Wolf. I'm on her right now. And a wolf tale is something that's happened on the Jetty Wolf. Okay, this is several years ago, and we were offshore. This is before I had my top here. So, you know, in July or August, it is burning hot. I mean, we weren't even catching nothing. We were bottom fishing about eight, nine miles offshore. That's all, not very far. We were anchored up and it was just miserable. And I mean, the guys, I had two guys, young guys, fit guys on my boat. And we were bottom fishing and just catching all kinds of garbage, little sea bass and stuff. We didn't, you know, I think we had little tiny snapper it just really wasn't, it wasn't going on. We should have gone trolling or something. So I remember it is burning hot. And one of the guys says to me, oh man, I just want to cool off. They always want to do this. Oh man, I'm going to jump over the side. The water looks so nice, everything, blah, blah, blah. And I would never, ever allow that. I mean, that is like, forget it. And I, we bantered back and forth and he's like, oh yeah, come on, man. So I took my dock lines and threw them over the side. So there's a line for him to hold on to whatever. And I said, okay, just cool off, nothing more. So we're anchored up and he stands up on the bow and he dives over the side and he swims down the side of the boat. And he was, I think he even said something like, geez, this is like bath water. Comes around to the back swim platform here. This is before I had my kicker even. He jumped up right there. And right as he did that, I was in this corner right here. I was in this corner and I was cleaning stuff up because I'm thinking, let's get the hell out of here. Nothing's going on. And I had one of my coffee cans full of dead shrimp. We got one right here. These things are the handiest things in the world right here, folks. I know everybody's got them on their boat, right? I even put a little cord on it so I don't lose it. I had one of these full of nasty old dead shrimp that was falling out. And all I wanted to do is just get rid of a bunch of bait. So I took this and as he's just on the swim platform back here, I took this and went <clears throat> and dumped it over the side. And when I dumped it over the side and he stepped over my false transom right here, stepped over right there guess what happened out of nowhere about a 10 foot hammerhead a true Atlantic hammerhead not no scalloped head nothing this was a true 100% great Atlantic hammer that hammerhead popped up on the side of the boat and swam right through the cloud of stinky dead shrimp right here. And he stepped over the transom and I said, come here, come here, come here. And I grabbed him. I said, look, look. And we pointed and that hammerhead was swimming around in circles right here so guess what you know in the, in my world 
uh, you know, one plus one equals two. Still, I know the progressives think two plus two equals five or some kind of bullshit like that. But one plus one equals two in my in my world. Probably yours too, unless you're some, you know, one of those purple haired wackos. When he stepped over and he saw that, we both looked at each other and I went, and I said, that is the reason I don't want you jumping over the side of my boat. I don't care how hot you are. Get a bucket and pour water over your head if that's what it takes. That shark was under the boat when he jumped off the bow and swam down the side and jumped up on the swim platform. That giant hammerhead was right there. Who knows how long he was there, but he was right there. So, moral of the story is, do not ask me to go and jump over the side of the boat. It ain't gonna happen. I get the women all the time who are used to being in some lake, you know, Lake Havasu or, you know, Party Central. And they always want to just jump in and take a leak. And we're in the river. And that current is smoking. And I go, <laughs> I just had a girl do it like a week ago. I said, I got a bucket for you right there. I carry a bucket. I said, if your aim's not that good, use the bucket. If your aim is pretty good, use this. And she was like, oh, okay. And she went up and took a leak up in the front of the boat. So needless to say, there's a good wolf story, a wolf tale for you that happened several years ago. And I... All righty. Well, I hope that satisfies Orowak. Orowak was the one who wanted to hear that wolf tale since I haven't done one in a while. But basically I got like a wolf tail. I got at least one a month. I just haven't told the stories. So we're staying in the Jetty Wolf, no matter where we're at. Was that a deal? We can all stay in the boat. <laughs> oh, and by the way, I almost forgot a new thing that I'm going to do here is since knifing, knife sharpening, buck collecting. Here's one of my collection. This one's real pretty. Got a black oxide blade, mirror, wicked edge, edge finish. Oh, I can see that thing mirror. White G10 and polished brass. This here's a sweet art. I got two of them. I was thinking about doing a video of my buck collection, but um, it's ever growing. It's ever changing. But what I have is I did a super mod of a cold steel. If you've seen that I did some before, a cold steel uh, pocket Bushman. Very simple knife. But when you take it apart, oh my God, what a bitch to put back together. You almost need four hands, but I got it back together. I was texturing the handle right where you hold it. Well, I brought one out here to the garage the other day and I textured the whole thing. I call it my zombie knife. So we're going to do an auction. There's going to be a reserve on this. If the reserve is never met, I'll just announce it, that the knife and the t-shirt never went. But I'm going to have a little auction. It's going to be reasonable. 
I'm going to do a reasonable thing for somebody who's a viewer. This isn't a pick by chance. I'm not using a random thing. It's going to be the highest number, dollar amount, that somebody emails me and says in the subject, Cold Steel Auction and the dollar amount. And what that's going to be is I will then send you a PayPal invoice and I'll send you an invoice. You pay it, it goes out. So if you really would like to donate and you'd like to get a nice and a free extra large or extra extra large brand new all black t-shirt, a sheath and free shipping, I will be mentioning this in the next couple of videos. Hopefully if I can always remember. So keep, keep aware of this knife putting up for auction in the near future. So thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.